Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we are going to take a look at the best XLR cables for the buck, for the bang of your dollars. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Okay guys, so I want to briefly present you high quality XLR cables, okay? Of different types, different value, different expense, obviously, but all worthwhile. Uh, I know a lot of you are already going to stop the video and say, baloney, XLR has inverted phase, there's no problem. It, it's an excellent solution already. You don't need to get an audio file grade stuff. True. Perhaps it, it, it is true. But in my opinion, and I'm not going to go in detail here, cables do have an effect on sound. They're supposed to have zero effect, but unfortunately they do. And let's say that in this case, these have a softer, a better effect than other cables, in my opinion. Obviously, if we're talking about 50, 20, 30 meters, one mile of, of, uh, of cable for your concert, this is not the right video. We're talking about delicate quality audiophile grade XLR balance connections for, for example, I don't know, connect your preamp to your amp, something very short but very important, where you need and you want the maximum from your cables. And balance connections and balance circuits, true balance circuits, are getting more and more popular. Hence, I think this is a good video. Let's get to it. Go! Okay, the first cable I want to present you is something that actually I already showed in my channel. This is an XLR cable that I made a few months, almost years ago. Here's a link to the video. This is a do-it-yourself, and I've chosen the best materials in order for around $70, more or less, where I spent around $10, $14 for a high-quality connector, OCC cable by Neotech. Take a look at that video for the details and excellent connectors also by Neotech. And nevertheless, I kept the price down, very down. But this is a high end cable in the end. If you want something like that at a medium price. And that's our first solution. Then we have a middle ground, which I think it's probably the best solution in the end. It has some compromises but the quality is very high. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Adam Hall Crystal Cable. Now this is clearly a pro solution, okay? It's not an audiophile solution, but it has some audiophile tricks up its sleeve, my boys and girls, because this is OCC copper. That's why this line is called Crystal. And the price is extremely cheap. This is a microphone cable, so it has great shielding. Very nice and soft. You can put it all over the places. And obviously, it has great sonics because of its conductor. The downside is that the insulation is not that good. Hence, the quality is going to be in the middle ground, as I said. But you're already starting with OCC Copper. And as you know, if you have been following me, Here's a dedicated video on OCC. If you don't know what that is, OCC Copper and all the process and why it's so good and healthy for your Sonics. Plus, it has excellent Neutrik connections, gold plated. So there are some attentions. There are some characteristics that are borrowed, we could say, from the audiophile world. This is amazing. And the price is ridiculous. One of these. This is one meter and a half is only here in Europe is around eight euro, around ten dollars. That's it already done, ready to go one each. 
So with $20, you have three meters of fantastic cable. Okay, guys, don't miss it. This is an excellent solution. For those of you who are really picky and really want the best, in my opinion, we have to go, we have to do a big jump in price. Not too big, you know me. I'm not for those fancy things. I look at what is inside a cable, then I choose it. Not for the treatments, not for the names, not for anything. And what am I currently using in my setup? These babies right here. The Arcadia Mark II by Zapfino. Uh, I also suggested the interconnects by them. I do have to say that the locking, the how these connect to the different jacks isn't that great. That's the downside of those interconnects. And I do wanna highlight that. I did not highlight that enough. Fortunately with XLR, we don't have that problem. They just click in. So we have this nice little package, which I wanna show you. You have a nice little pouch here. Inside there's a nice little extra little pouch. So you can use this for whatever you want actually. Here are the cables. They're usually covered in plastic to protect the metal parts like this and these. I'm using these, I put them back just for you. And as you can see, Already the aesthetics are incredible, but we don't care about the aesthetics. We care about the sonics. And these are special. Why? Very simple. I look at three things in cables. First of all, the conductor. This has OCC copper. Second of all, insulation, the electrics. It's fundamental, just as important probably as the conductor. This has mainly in um, PTFE, Teflon, different types of Teflon. In any case, it has Teflon, which is the best of the best, the best insulation. There are also more esoteric types. They're also implementing graphene and other types of cables. I did not experiment that yet, but in any case, it is renowned that Teflon is the best of the best. They also employed some uh, polyethylene inside, which is good, but not as good as Teflon. So it's a mixture, okay? It's not pure Teflon, unfortunately, but nevertheless, there is a lot inside. Plus, we have very high grade connectors. That's the third part you have to look for a cable because connectors are unfortunately a weak part in cables. You get noise there, you get deterioration of the signal. That's why you have to pay attention. They have to be of high quality and these are of high quality. Gold plated, etc., etc. as you can imagine. But the Crystal Atom Hall, very close, very close, I must admit. The only downside there is the insulation, unfortunately. I just want to read what's uh, the characteristics of the Arcadia, which I don't think are fundamental apart from the things I already said, but in any case. Okay, OCC Copper, we said that. They have this ultrasonic treatment to have somehow a burn-in. Important, nice, but it's a bonus, not fundamental. The electrics, high density. Uh, polyethylene, but also PTFE and Teflon wrap. There's also a braid of OFC copper for shielding. Other, other PVC jacket, okay. It's a polybraid monofilament, so it's a multi-stranded type, plus excellent OCC copper 24 karat gold cladded pins of the connector. That's why it has an extra oomph, an extra quality also in the connectors. So all in all, there you go. You have three steps, one by yourself, the middle, probably the best in equilibrium between cost and benefits, and then the top and the line, in my opinion. Obviously you can go higher and higher and higher, but I think this is already a good, a good solution. I forgot to say the price of these, these go around, quite enough, but not as high-end cables go. These are around $160, and they're Canadian, not Canadian dollars, can US, can US dollars, but they're made in Canada. I wanted to say that because these are excellent Canadian products. Okay, guys, so if you have other cables that you're using, XLR, balance connections that you love, even for your headphones, signal them, write them down here in the comments. We're all interested in that. 
Well, what else can I say? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and remember, music was born analog. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.